Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Friend, Beloved God, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Mahashaya, Swami Sri Yukteswar, Beloved Guru, Paramahansa Yogananda Ji, Saints of all religions, we bow to all of you. Guide us and bless us. May thy love shine forever on the sanctuary of our devotion. And may we be able to awaken thy love in all hearts. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. God bless you all. Voi italiani volete, volete fare qualche domanda dopo o siete soddisfatti? Hmm? <laughs> Se volete, po non so, potete incontrarmi dopo. Goodbye and God bless you. You have an announcement. Aha. Okay. <laughs> The model you have now is one of ashrams. I'm bringing a new model, a model where people can have family, have schools for their children, have jobs where they support themselves. And uh, you don't have to have a very different life from what you have now, except that you will be surrounded by friends and devotees. This is a realistic thing. We have been doing it now for nearly 40 years in the West and uh, 20 years in Italy. It, it is a realistic thing. We have proved that it works. We have maybe a thousand people living in our eight or seven communities in America and in Italy. And I believe that here we can have many more. It does not have to be like a village where people are poor, where they have to till the soil with almost nothing. It can be a very nice thing, like a wonderful hotel with bungalows and so on where you can live. But you will have friends around you and devotees instead of worldly people. I feel that this is just what India needs today and I'm very eager in my lifetime. I'm 81 years old now. Who knows how long I will live. I would like to have you help me make this thing fa a, a reality during my time in this world because it is what I, you know, we read that China is developing a hundred billion dollars being spent on arms. There will be a war between China and India, I predict it. But India, although it is strong militarily, its greatest strength is karma. When in the Bible it says that Gomorrah would not be destroyed if there were 10 righteous men in that city. There were not, and so it was destroyed. India has righteousness. If we can develop communities where people seek righteousness, this will be the strongest bulwark of this country. We need to get away from thinking only in terms of material advancement. This is the next step. When you can have a few people who live right, you don't need a communistic system that shovels this down, thing down people's throats and kills them if they choke on it. You need to have a system that inspires people and say, I want to do that. This is what people come from all over the world to our communities in the West to visit and see. This is what can happen here. We can create such an ideal community here and we can do it far better than any of these beautiful things we see here in Gurgaon. It, with proper insulation and everything. I can go into it <laughs> with great length and with great enthusiasm. Please take me seriously because you, we are even developing businesses which we think will help to support this. Solar electricity, wind electricity, saris that Cecilia is working on, and uh, cloths that she's having uh, exported to the West and uh, the little um, medicinal oils that we have, the master's flower essences, and other things we are doing. My, my course that I've written on material success through yoga principles, we need to spread this teaching and get it into every home so that people understand that when you follow dharma, you are victorious. And when you try to make shortcuts, you fail in the end, sooner or later. 
So this course too, all of these things we are doing, but you can bring your own business there. As long as it's a sattvic business, we have to approve it. If somebody says, I'm a butcher, we'd have to say, no, that's not one that we would sanction. But sattvic businesses or good businesses, why not? We need something that is self-supporting. In Dialbagh in Agra, they had only shoes they made. Uh, we need many different businesses so that people don't get sucked into making a factory out of it. But, oh, there's so much I could tell you. I won't. Please imagine it for yourselves and think seriously about it. Joy to you.